All right, now let's use uh, the same kind of problem, but let's see if we hit a wall. And I put the wall 350 meters away, and it's 12 meters tall. Um, I pick 350 because we know that this will go at least 350. Um, so we actually have a possibility of hitting it, but we have a possibility of missing it. We could fly over the wall. So we need to know, we know from before that it's like 7.88 seconds of total flight, right? We know that the half time was 3.94 and that the full time was 7.88, right? Um, those don't help us because full time is we know past the wall and half time is in the middle. And we know what those heights are. We know at 3.94 it's like 70 some meters tall. That doesn't help us. We're, we're, we're over here by this wall. And at 7.88, it's on the ground, so that doesn't help us. So we need another time. And that time would be, when is it at the wall? Well, the wall's 350 meters away, and we're traveling 45.96 meters per second sideways. So we want to find out when, oops, that's not a equals, that's a plus, when it's at the wall. All right, so we want to know, oh, we know how long, we know how far away the wall is. The wall is 350. 350 equals, it starts at zero. We're going 45.96. We don't know how long it's going to take us. And we know that acceleration is zero sideways. So find out how long it will take to reach the wall. I'm not saying we hit the wall. I'm saying we're getting to the wall. So that would be 350 not 380, 350, divided by 45.96. And these are both horizontal numbers. Vx is 45.96. 350 is x direction. Those are horizontals. You only do horizontals in equations, and you only do verticals in their own equations. So it will take 7.62 seconds to get to the wall. 7.62 seconds. It could be above it. We could be hitting it. Don't know. You know we do know before the 7.88 to the ground, but that's again, doesn't help us. Well, we need to know where it is at when it gets wall. By where, I mean how high it is when it gets to the wall. Well, that's a distance equation, but vertically, which we know that it's going... 38.57 meters per second, and we want to know it's 7.62 seconds. 7.62. And we know that we got 4.9 is our you know one half of gravity and 7.62 quantity uh, squared. So we're just using the same distance equation, we just have a different time to put in than we just did. So let's go 38.57 times 7.62 gets us 293. I think we really missed the wall. Um, is that right? Yeah. And then 4.9 times that 7.62 times 7.62 again gets us 284. Remember I was saying like these two, the second one's usually half, only when we're doing the full distance, or the full height, only when we're doing the maximum height. Otherwise, it's, you know, just something. Um, so 293 minus 284, well, that's actually, uh, we actually might hit the wall. 293.90, come on, give me my decimal point, point nine zero minus 284.5 equals equals 9.4. Hey, we hit the wall. Because um, what we found out was that this projectile will take 7.62 seconds to cover 350 meters. The wall happens to be 350 meters away. And in, at that 7.62 time, at the 7.62 time, we're over here. We are 9.4 meters off the ground. 
the wall's 12 meters tall, we hit the wall. If the wall was only 9 meters tall, we would have missed it because our projectile is at 9.4 when it reaches the location of the wall sideways. So we, had to, we needed a time to find a height. Half time doesn't get us anything because that's halfway across, that's maximum height. Full time doesn't get us anything because that's when it's hitting the ground again. We needed a time at the wall. And because of our horizontal speed of 45.96, we found out that it would take 7.62 seconds to reach the, pro the location and the proximity of the wall. So now we had to find out how high it was vertically at that 7.62 seconds. And we found out it's 9.4 meters high, which means we hit the wall.